All right, hello everyone. I've got and I've got another story today, and um, it's a story that I just found out yesterday, and it kind of sickened me. Um, some kid from New Jersey got his phone taken away during class or something, and he started hitting his teacher, and you know, just trying to get his phone, and he even slammed him on a desk. He slammed his head on a desk, and was being very violent and. The guy was a 62-year-old male, <clears throat> and uh, it is pretty disturbing, but unfortunately, you know, I I'm just going to show this video to you guys. I know you guys are going to be disturbed, but I'm just going to show this to you guys. So, yeah. Okay. Yeah, good. Okay. Okay, I'm out. I'm out. I'm out. I don't want to be in the game. I don't want to be in the game. Let me in, help us. Let me in, help us. Yo, chill. Come out by your phone, bro. Security? Yeah, good. Yeah. Yeah. Alright, so I'm sorry you had to see that, but unfortunately, you know, I just wanted to show you guys what happened, and it's really shocking that things like this happen in schools nowadays, and people allow this to happen. I mean, just look at that. But somebody called the cops, though. That's the good thing about it, is somebody called the cops, and the kid got arrested. Which is a good thing, because he got what he deserved. He assaulted a teacher, which is against the law, and, you know, got arrested. That's the good thing about it, but I feel sorry for the guy, you know, that he had to deal with this kid, you know, he's 62 years old. I mean, it must have hurt really bad to be attacked like that, and what I have to say about the kid is, wow, dude, you got your cell phone taken away in class, and, you know, you assault your teacher because you got it taken away. I mean, really, kid, really, dude. I mean, you know, you're just getting yourself into more trouble, and getting arrested isn't worth, you know, all this. Isn't It isn't worth getting your cell phone back. I mean, really. It just shocks me how people do these kinds of things nowadays, and the kid might have some problems at home, I should say. He might have some problems at home, you know, he might have some issues, and, you know, it's just shocking that this happened. But things like this happen all the time, and the kid even recorded it. I mean, come on. How stupid is that, you know? The kid needs help, you know? If you're beating up someone just because they take your cell phone, I mean, come on. You know, it just surprises me. I'm sorry, guys, but um, it, it was in New Jersey, by the way. I'm not sure if I tell, told you that already, but it was in New Jersey, if you didn't already know. um, I'm not sure what city it, exactly it was in though but I, all I know is it was in New Jersey and the kid assaulted his teacher which is really dumb and I don't know why people do things like this I mean he even posted it on YouTube come on dude but uh it just shows it just shows you guys how attached this guy is to his social media I mean you know you guys saw that fa the video about Facebook a couple days ago right well, the same thing is going on here. The kid might have been, you know, texting on his phone to someone, and he got his phone taken away during class, and then he beats up his teacher. So, the, of course, this is more serious than the 911 call thing. I mean, you know, it's just calling 911, and that's not really physically hurting anyone, but this is. So, it's definitely more serious than calling 911 over a social media website being down. But, kid... Come on, you need some help. I mean, go to counseling or something. Guys, that is, that'll is that do it for this video. And uh, rate, comment, subscribe. And uh, thank you for supporting my channel. Peace.